Hello everyone. Welcome to Amos Apti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to enable and configure sign in risk policy for MFA in Azure Active Directory. But first, let's understand what is sign in risk. Sign in risk represents that a given authentication request is not authorized by the identity owner. This risk is detected when users authenticate from anonymous IP addresses, geographically distant locations, malware link IP addresses, or from suspicious web browsers. Most users have a normal behavior that can be tracked. When they fall outside of this norm, it could be risky to allow them to successfully sign in. Instead, you may want to block that user or ask them to perform a multi-factor authentication. If the user successfully completes the MFA challenge, you can consider it as a valid sign-in attempt and grant access to the application or service. By enabling this policy, users will be prompted for MFA every time a suspicious login takes place. Keep in mind, that this feature requires an Azure Active Directory Premium P2 license. If you are going to apply this policy in your organization, then first start with a selected group of users and check the result. If everything is going according to the plan, then later you can apply it at organization level. This is known as a stage rollout. In this video, we will see the steps on how to enable sign-in risk policy for selected group of users in Azure Active Directory to test it out. Let's sign into the Azure Active Directory portal using an account with global administrator permissions. You can access Azure Active Directory portal using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. On Azure AD portal, click on Azure Active Directory. We are using the user account with global administrator role to perform the steps. Under Manage, click on Security. Under Protect, click on Identity Protection. We will be on Identity Protection Overview page. Under Protect, click on Sign in Risk Policy. We will be on sign in risk policy page. By default, sign in risk remediation policy is applying on all users. Under assignments, we can verify all users are already selected. We can apply this policy to all users or to the selected users or groups. There are three settings that need to be configured. First is users. Which users do you want to protect? You can also make exclusions when needed. Second, sign in risk. At what sign in risk level you want your policy to kick in? Low and above, medium and above or high. And third is access. What is the action to be taken? You can block access or prompt for MFA. By default, as I have mentioned that the policy is currently applying on all users. So let's click on all users. Choose the radio button, select individuals and groups. From the list, search for taste group 1. Select taste group 1. For testing purpose, we just want to apply this policy on users who are member of the group name a taste group 1. Click on select. Verify taste group 1 is selected. Next, choose the sign in risk level. Click on sign in risk level. We will choose medium and above level to enforce the policy. So select the radio button in front of medium and above and click on done. Then in the last step, we want to allow access but only if user completes the MFA. Let's click on block access to define the control access. As you can see by default block access is selected. As I mentioned that we want to allow access, but only if user completes the MFA. So I'm going to select the radio button, allow access and make sure the option require multi-factor authentication is also checked. Click on done. 
to enforce the policy, toggle the value to on and then select save. We can see the confirmation message successfully save the Azure AD sign-in risk policy. So we have configured the policy for test group 1. If sign-in risk level is medium or above, then ask users for multi-factor authentication and only allow access after user completes the multi-factor authentication successfully. And if user is not registered for multi-factor authentication, then access will be blocked. If you ever want to disable the policy, you just need to toggle the value to off under Enforce Policy and click on Save to save the changes. This will turn off enforcement of the sign-in risk policy in your Azure Active Directory. Remember, most user sign-in events won't trigger the risk-based policy configured as in this video. A user may never see a prompt for additional multi-factor authentication verification if their credential remains secure and their behavior consistent, the sign-in event would be successful. To test the Azure Active Directory identity protection policies created in this video, you need a way to simulate risky behavior or potential attacks. And at this moment, it is not possible to demonstrate in this video. And that's why I'm just showing you the steps to configure the policies. So that's all for this video. In this video, we have seen the steps to enable and configure the sign-in risk policy in Azure Active Directory using Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.